my channel i'm gonna be talking about the baby doppler i first got it i was so excited to try it i put the gel on that they gave and everything and um i think i was listening to my own heartbeat the first couple of times it was hard to find the baby's heartbeat so i got a little anxious kind of worried you know when you can't find it and as a first time parent it's like oh my gosh like am i doing something wrong what's wrong should i go to the doctor or whatever so in the weeks that i've had it i've kind of learned some things and how to find the baby's heartbeat and little tips and stuff that i want to share with you for starters it did come in this little box i have the baby doppler sauna line sauna line b and this one's in the blue color they have a pink one as well and that's not to say that we're having a boy we don't know what we're having my mom actually gifted this to us and i believe it was like 60 dollars online she got this and it comes along with the doppler itself like the one that they use at the doctor's office pretty much or the one my um doctor uses it looks like this and it also came with the batteries that it already needs it comes with two in the back and then i'm grabbing this because i think this has really helped as well it's the gel but it also claims to be a sound booster and the few times that you know this dries off or we don't use it for whatever reason um it's harder to find the baby's heartbeat i've also kind of heard that you can use lotion so i have this lotion here just to show you guys i finally have been using it <laughs> the bird speeds mama bee belly butter so i guess you can just use radio lotion or a pregnancy like related type of lotion to also listen to the baby's heartbeat i like this one you know we use a pretty good amount each time we're using it and it feels just like i'm at the doctor's office you know but doing it to myself when they put the little gel on you and then you get to listen now going through the actual baby doppler it's so easy to use this is the power button right there super easy right this one it's just like a light on the side to be honest i'm not sure what this one's for like, all you need to know is this one and the light we haven't even used the light to be honest and we check the heartbeat pretty late at night when it's dark and then this is the attachment right here and this is the part that actually goes on your belly. This is what's looking for the heartbeat, with, where you're gonna hear it. So let me turn it on real fast. The volume is on this side as well. No, uh, lower. This is where you take this off and there's two batteries already in there. I didn't read on how long actually like the batteries will last, but I did like how it already came with the batteries so we didn't have to buy that separately or anything. It wasn't an extra purchase at all, came with it, so again you're getting this the batteries included and the sound booster gel in it it all comes with the instructions and it's in this big box now to show y'all how i find the heartbeat so some little trip some little tips that i've picked up on is um <laughs> the first time i was using it i'm laughing because it's it's so weird um quick list quick disclaimer i'm 20 weeks this week so um listening to the heartbeat has kind of become like a weekly thing for sure if not like every other night or something but um we do it just between doctor's visits really just for ourselves just to know that you know that baby's growing okay a big thing is at the very bottom of my belly which i'll show you in just a second um at the bottom is where you want to look for sure because the first time i did it i was looking pretty high up thinking i was going to feel a kick or something and that's not what you're going to see in this video um at 20 weeks i'm still not really feeling many kicks it's more like if i'm forcing my belly like if i'm laying down flat you know kind of against my belly and touching my stomach in a certain area then i'll feel light kicks but you're not gonna see that as i'm showing y'all you know trying to look for the heartbeat right now um you'll just hear the heartbeat so look for that really towards the bottom because that's where baby like stays or sits i guess you know baby's not that big at least at 20 weeks right now for me um the baby is not big enough you know to be way up here on my belly or below my rib cage it's not gonna be there so definitely look like below your belly button i feel like belly button is the highest it's gonna go and um the instructions mention that as well to definitely first check right below the belly button and if not move to the sides of your belly around you know in that area um when i show you all me looking for this you're also gonna see my little the dark line 
um, it goes from like below my belly button and it's lighter going up so that's a thing I have hair on my belly <laughs> I guess it's the hormones and stuff um, shy but I'll go ahead and do that so I'm starting off with this sound booster like gel thing and I'm putting about this much just because I'm applying it to the like complete bottom of my belly it also um kind of helps to have the fan off i've noticed because if we have it on and then it dries really quickly you're gonna have trouble at least we do you know looking for the heartbeat so i apply it all down here just to show you guys when i turn it on where those three dashes are that's where the heartbeat like the numbers are gonna pop up the rest really doesn't matter this is like the battery um so really what you're gonna pay attention to is where those numbers pop up. And you're focusing this, you know, in that area. So like I said, so like try to stick to the bottom. And I don't hear anything. Sometimes you'll also hear like water, you know, like stuff in there whooshing around. But you'll know when it's a hard thing. I also like to move this in different angles as I'm moving around my belly just because if it doesn't get it straight on, if I'm at this angle, sometimes it catches it at a, um, I guess like a louder sound. See how it's easy to get anxious? Like, why is it taking so long to find my heartbeat? That's the baby's heartbeat right there. Going high and high. So like the baby actually moves. And you'll know it's the baby's heartbeat because it is or like in that range. But yours, if you happen to hear, it's literally like divided by two. <laughs> so the baby's heart rate is two times as fast as yours. So like those 150s, 130s range, that's definitely not So I think baby's just being really shy. <laughs> I never have this much trouble. Um, so that was the baby's heartbeat. And then to turn it off, what I really do is just hold this for three seconds. So it really is that easy. I just use this sound booster, which I think really, really helps. Once I'm finished, I normally just take a uh, Kleenex and I'll just wipe my entire belly. And I make sure it's like all pretty well off. But I'm glad y'all did get to hear the heartbeat. Like I said, I think baby is just shy. It's never really that hard. You know, each time I was extending the um, baby Doppler for y'all to see the numbers, it would kind of stop. So I don't know why. That's, that's weird. 
but I just wanted to share how I use the baby Doppler and how we kind of set ourselves, you know, put ourselves at ease to listen to the baby's heartbeat in between our visits. And it's not easy, you know, it might be a little pricey, but I think it's definitely worth the investment, you know, if you want to be keeping up with your baby and just be in the know, you know, just to give you, like I said, like to ease your anxiety and stuff. If you are a first time parent, you know, or if you're just interested in hearing your baby's heartbeat. So I hope you guys really like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. It'll mean so, so much to me. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.